Salut, yes seven et bienvenue au corps pour aujourd'hui. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'on va faire aujourd'hui? Alors, je vous explique. So guys, welcome to today's lesson. We've smashed through module three. We've done all of this during le coronavirus, uh, as the French would call it, and we've, we've completed it all. So, what we would be doing in school is we'd be preparing you for your end of year exams, but I don't think they're going to happen. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to give you an assessment and test you on module three, and that is what we'll do today. But due to the circumstances, it's just going to be a mock. So it won't actually count. So you don't need to email me your levels and what you've got and how many you've got right or your score or anything like that. We're going to do it as an assessment, but we're going to do it as a practice. You might say, if so, what's the point if we're not giving you our marks back or you don't want to know our grades? And that that's because the, that's not why we do tests and that's not why we do assessments. The whole idea is an assessment tests you on what you know and how well you've learned. So today's assessment, you might get a really good score and be really happy with it, which is great. You might not be as content as you would be normally, but that's, that's fine as well. It will just show you that this is something to practice on and something to do. So all of this is just practice today, practice to see what you can do and practice to test you on the module, which is a good way to test your learning. If you don't do as well as you'd want, don't worry about it. Just spend a bit more time on Memorize. And then next year, when we do a little refresh on this, that'll be when you'll catch up. So that's what it's all about today. Don't, we're going to assess you on all the things I've ticked off here. Let's get going. Alors, yes, seven, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire. Assez vu tout le monde, et s'il vous plaît, inventez le date. Copiez le titre du genre, module three assessment reading, et s'il vous plaît, à sur les post-it, tu n'as pas de post-it dans les cahiers, s'il vous plaît. Comment dire, I do, I like doing, we do. It's boring, I like watching, I think it's. These are key things we learned this module. Comment dire ça en français? Pour question 1, 2, 3 et 4, je vous ai donné la première lettre pour chaque phrase. Pour les autres, il n'y a pas de lettre pour 5 et 6. Mettez-moi ce pause, bon courage, see what you can do. When you think you've got all six, restart the video and we'll get going. Hello, mes petits. So, how have you gotten with these? All six of these phrases come up today. So, if you didn't know them, make sure you know them down now. Let's see what we got. I do is, je fais, really important. So, to say I like doing, you need I like, but you don't use fait. We need the infinitive. It should be, j'aime faire. Excellent if you got that. This is really high level French. If you didn't get number two, don't worry, guess it's tough today, guys. Numéro toi. We do, so this is I do, our verb ch -ch -ch changes and it doesn't follow a pattern. You need to know this verb off by heart. It goes, nu fait zon. Brilliant if you got that. So, really tough post it note challenge today. There's our first three. It's boring. There's two ways to say it. Both of them come up in the reading today, so make sure you know both of them. It's boring is, c'est ennuyeux. You can also say, c'est barbon. Alors, numéro 5, I like watching. If j'aime faire is I like doing, the verb to watch is regarder. So you need j'aime regarder. Excellent if you got that one. And finally, I think it's, we read loads of because it is, parce que c'est, parce que, parce que, parce que c'est. That's fine, but mix it up a bit with I think it's to make your work even better. I think it's is. Je pense que c'est. Voilà. Right, guys. Give yourself a mark out of six for that. I'll be happy with three out of six to down. I'll post it on a challenge. If you've got any more than that, you've done really well. Let's put you to the test before we do our reading assessment today. Hello, year seven. I've got 15 words here. We're going to start with Sab Mouvant, our quicksand. But don't worry. We're not going to start like this. I'll be giving you the words in a second. But what I want you to do is be honest with yourself, have a little look and see if you know all 15 of these words with just the first letter given. Let me show you what I mean. So on my computer is sur mon ordinateur. I put photos on Instagram. Je mets les photos sur Insta. Uh, I go on social media. Je vais, what is it? I download, je tell, see how many you can do. Put me on pause now. No, don't race. Just go through and see how many you actually know. When you think you've got a number, how many? 5, 6, 10, 15. Restart the video and I'll talk to you about how many you should have. All right, guys. So you should have restarted me after seeing how many of these 15 words you know. 
just with the first letter this is what it looks like guys I said here be honest how do you know so if you know fewer than five I've called you a memorized loser you need to get unmemorized before carrying on this lesson so go on memorize have a bit more of a practice in this to get over five six to eleven yeah that's good enough said scraping it this is quite tough but you know enough to carry on with the lesson 12 or more i've put techers you really know your stuff so let's put you to the test alors mes petits vous savez ce qu'il faut faire maintenant j'ai le vocabulaire en anglais ici j'ai le même vocabulaire en français ici il faut dire anglais français anglais français anglais français aussi rapide que possible vous avez 36 secondes et les mots ici les mots en bleu et vert vont disparaître donc il faut être rapide right guys prepare yourselves put me on pause when you think you're ready to have a go restart the video i'll count you down and i'll start the words disappearing put me on pause now hello me 50 you think you're ready let's see if you can get all the way to the end your time starts in Toi, deux, un. Allez. so fast today the first column's gone so you're happy And our second column down is too fast today. It's a fini, right guys? How far did you get to? I don't think anyone in year seven would have got to the end of that. That was really, really tough. So let's put you to the test a tiny bit more. You can have another go at this round if you want. You can rewind me and have another go and see what to do. If you think you're ready, let's move on to the next bit. Et voilà, cette fois, j'ai pris les lettres clés. Donc, il faut dire anglais, il faut compléter la phrase uh, en français, anglais, français, anglais, français. Je vu dans un exemple, il y a seven, on my computer, sur mon ordinateur. I put photos on Insta, je mets les photos sur Insta, go on social media, je vais sur les réseaux sociaux, I download, je télécharge, je very often, très souvent. I don't think I'd survive that. Right, put me on pause. Make sure you prepare yourselves and you think you're ready. Restart the video and I will start taking these away. I'll count you down as well. Put me on pause now. Allez, on y va. Allo, mes petits. So, good luck. You know how this works. I'll count you down and I'll start making it disappear. Bon courage. Toi, deux, un. Allez. First column's almost gone, so you're happy, huh? Alors, 15 seconds plus environ. Et toi, de ah, c'est fini, c'est le mot, right, guys? Did you get to the end of that one? Fantastic effort. If you did, we got one more round. Now you remember this from the first slide. How many did you know back then? How many do you know now? Let's find out. Put me on pause, prepare yourselves. The good news, le bonne nouvelle. This time they're in order. So you don't have to go and pick the right one. This is one. Oh, this is number one. This is number two. This is, no Ooh, <laughs> this is number three. They're all in the right order. But you have to know what they are. Put me on pause. Prepare yourselves. When you think you're ready to have a go, restart the video and I'll count you down. Bon courage. On y va. Préparez-vous. Allo mes petits. Are you ready? Let's go for it. You know what to do. Ça, deux, un. Allez. Alors, first column is down, so you rapid me petit. And second column is down, allez, 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 allez. Allez, 
Et toi, deux, un, c'est fini, du le monde. Right, guys, how far did you get? A really good effort here. This is our revision section. We seem to know this vocabulary really well. Let's put you to the test and let's look at this reading assessment. Now, I've said it before, I'll say it again today. Yes, it's an assessment, but this doesn't count. You're not going to give me your grades. I'm not even going to know your scores. This is all down to you to test your learning because that's an important part of independence. And an important part for you is to test yourself, to give yourself feedback, to tell you what you need to do and what you need to work on. That's just part of learning anything in particular a language. So today's test we're going to work for it together, just like we would in class. I'm going to go through what you need to do. I'm going to go through each activity and then you've got time to work on it yourself. Et voilà. So guys, let me give you some tips that you're going to need to use today to make sure you're a success. So number one, survival tip one, except you're not going to understand every single word today. You will not understand every word. What you need to do is work out the gist yes if you don't understand every word in a sentence that's fine but can you from the words around it work out what's going on now i do this even in english when i'm reading an english book or come across a word i don't know i don't put the book down and say oh god i thought i could speak english but i can't like it does no way i can just carry on with the book without that word or i can work out the word from the context that's what you'll need to do today to get a top mark guys number three Keywords matter. Sometimes you won't understand a load of text, but just one or two words will be enough for you to get the answer. And then finally, the most important one, don't leave a blank. I see this all the time. People say, oh, I don't know the answer, so I'll go for it. Why do that, guys? Just use your gut, trust your instincts and see what you can do. Review 11, loads of times, they cross out the right answer and they leave it blank. And I'm like, that was the right answer. Or... They cross out the right answer and then they just choose the wrong one. Don't do that. Trust your guts. Nine times out of ten, people's first instinct for this is the correct one. So go for it. Let's go through this. You've got this sheet uploaded today on Frog. So you can load up and look at it as I'm talking through it. You can answer straight in your book. So all you need to do is put one, two, three, A, B, C or whatever. Answer straight in your books today if you want. That's the easiest way to do this. Right, guys. So. Here's activity one. It says this at the top. You're looking at the homepage of Decathlon. So we've got these in England. There's one in Croydon on like Pearly Way, just a bit down in Wadden. Um, but they're a French sports chain. They're really fun to go into. So if you've never been into Decathlon, they've got everything. Anyway, getting off topic. You're looking at the homepage of Decathlon, a large sports store in France. Uh, what would you click on if you wanted to buy something for the sports show? So number one, this is a dancer. So where do you need to pick what do you need to look for where's the word for dance everyone knows the word for dance in french is um judo no, i'm joking so if you thought it was judo you'd put an f here simple so here's the sports what letter do they match to so this is swimming which one means swimming this is ice skating which one means ice skating this is horse riding which one means horse riding all you need to do is match them up easy in your books, you can just write one, two, three, four, five, six, A, B, C, D, E, F. But that obviously won't be the answer. Okay, guys, the second activity then. You've got six people here. Khalid, Aisha, Ben, Sophie, Franck and Anna. And they're talking about what they like doing on the computer. So what you need to do is put the letter next to the person. So in your books, one more time. You can write one, two, three, four, five, six. And then next to it, you just write, <laughs> that's meant to be an A. You just write the letter next to it. Easy. So let's have a look at the example. J'aime chatter sur MSN. So MSN is old. It's like WhatsApp before WhatsApp. So they've used B. So next to this person, you put a B. Easy. All right. So B's been used. Cross it out. Get rid of it. Next person says, J'aime surfer sur internet. What does that mean? Is it A, C, D? Have a look, see what you can match. And then for each one, just write the number up here and the letter next to it. That's all you need to do. No need to email me, just the number and the letter sample, which means simple. <laughs> Alors, year seven, this is where it gets a little bit trickier. Let's have a read. When does Yvonne like doing these activities? 
write the correct letter in the space provided. So you see over here, you've got all these sentences about what he likes to do. And then over here, you've got the activity. So here, we've got a weather or like a season. So December, January and February, I'd say are uh, winter. So this is what you need to do. Look at the weather. So this is raining and then read through these sentences. Where does it say when it's raining? If I give you a clue, let's do this in blue. So it's either this one here. This is when it's raining and what they do. Or it's this one here. OK, so have a little look. One of these is when it's raining and then what they like doing. You need to write the letter here. So look at the example. It says E. So this is the summer months, June, July and August. So where does it say in summer? Let's do this one in yellow so we all know what to do. Here it is. En été, j'aime faire de la natation. So here he says in summer, I like doing swimming. So the example uses swimming. So you can get rid of that. There we go. Swimming is gone. And that's the first one. So look at number one. Which one of these is it? Look at number two. The sun is shining. Number three, they're hot. Number four is winter. Number five, it's getting cold. Number six is nighttime. So what matches what? You just put the letter over here next to the right activity. And all right, guys, now this one I know is really, really tough. Let's have a little look through. So it says, read what these three people, so we've got Tariq, Lea, and Menaba, read what these three people like doing. Answer the questions by ticking the correct column. So let me give you a little GCC tip, right? Year seven, don't read the text yet. The first thing to do is read this down here to get an idea of what you're looking for. So who likes downloading music? So they're going to say j'aime, télécharger, and then musique. So those are the three words you're looking for. I look through each three people and look for that. Who likes walking when it's cold? Okay, so when it's cold or in winter, what's the word for walking? Go for each one and you need to tick the person. So have a look at this, Tarek. Who goes dancing once a week? They've gone for Tarek. So read it through. Je fais de la danse une fois par semaine. And that's how they've got the example. Let me give you a tip. Each person matches two things. So I need two ticks for each person and only one person can match along the lines. So you can't tick Tarek and Lea. You can't do that. That is wrong. Only one person matches guys so each person matches two only one person matches not including that tick so ignore that Tarek matches to two Leia matches to two and Benabar matches to two out of the six Hello mi petit this is where it gets really tough so you can see up here we've done reading one and reading two reading three they just get harder as you go along exams do that so read to what Leticia likes doing complete the sentence by writing the correct words from those given in the spaces provided. Okay, so down here in English, I've got these sentences. She likes to listen to music, she likes to go shopping. And I need to complete that with one of our time phrases in this box here. So what I need to do, whoops, is read through the text and see what we've got. So it's a cut example. She watches TV in the morning. Le matin, je regarde la télé. Okay, so in the morning, I can scrub out, that is gone. All right, so what's the next one? She listens to music. Ma passion, I'll do this in a different color actually. She says, attend, voilà. Mais ma passion, c'est la musique. J'écoute mon iPod tout le temps. Okay, so tout le temps is the time phrase. Which word in here is the English version of tout le temps? Write it here. Okay guys, that one is a bit tougher today. Et finalement, guys, this is a really tough one. This is too tough for year seven. They do this on the last one to really push like you further. There's loads of vocabulary you do not know on this, but it's nothing you legends can't handle. So it says, read the article about Franck Bonnet. Tick the six correct statements. So look at the example. Here's a cyclist and it says here, Franck Bonnet est cycliste et il est champion régional. Now remember we did a revision lesson like this. Il est champion 
régional that is your first bit you need to read it through oh, hang on attend voilà you need to read it through and then with these statements here you need to tick the six correct statements so there's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 there's 11 statements here six of them are right so read it through and see if you can work out which one's right let's do the first one together in orange right so a says he is the national champion and here it says il est champion régional so is that right or wrong if you think it's right you'll put a tick here if you think it's wrong put a cross no need to change colors i'm just showing off there we go so that's all you need to do he cycles five hours every day all year round there's a lot of things here so i'm looking for five hours i'm looking for every day and i need to look for all year okay so look for these things you tick the six correct boxes right guys here's our mark scheme but remember marks do not count you don't need to send me your grades you don't need to send me your marks i won't look at them if you do this isn't part of your assessment this year it's just to have a little look to give you an idea of where about you are Hello, mes petits. Right, guys, I've explained it all. What you need to do now is put me on pause and work through those activities. If you're stuck or unsure about what to do, you're not going to be able to email, um, but just watch the video back and, and listen to the explanation. If you still don't know, skip that activity out of your seven. Is that okay? Because what can we do? You're at home. I can't help you like I would if we were in class. So, guys, work through this. When you think you've done the very best you can and you've followed my tips and you've not left a single blank in your whole exam paper, then restart this video and me and you will go through the answers. I'll tell you what we've got. I'll show you why and how. And you can mark your work to give yourself a mark. Even though it don't count, it's good for you to test yourself. So, put this video on pause. Have a go at the exam. When you think you're done, restart and I'll go through the answers. On y va. Oh, et j'ai oublié. Bon courage, mes petits cochons. Good luck, my little pigs. On y va. Alors, mes petits, let's see how you got on then. So, if you're not ready for the answers, just start the video right now. <laughs> if you are ready for them, I'm going to go through each activity tell you the answers and hopefully explain a bit why give yourself a mark but remember your marks don't matter this is about testing yourself so first activity then the trickiest thing was the pictures this is what you should have the only premier is doing dance so obviously it was b oh this is all of them <laughs> so it goes b numero 2 is swimming qui est la natation numero 3 c'est ice skating qui en français c'est patin à classe numero 4 voilà numero 4 c'est horse riding en anglais qui est l'équitation en français think about like in the olympics they call horse riding equestrian which is like équitation alors uh, numéro 5 this is obviously dance uh, sorry this is gym so gymnastique voilà et finalement numéro 6 this is the french game boule we learned the southern way of saying it which is pétanque which is where when i lived in france i lived in marseille and they never called it boule that's the northern way of saying it it's a really fun french game you you'd love to play it hopefully if we're back in the summer i can take you out and play a game at school and show you how it's done you'll all love it i'm really good at it i'll beat you all Hello, right guys, so the second one, again, the pitch is really tough. This is what you should have. So, Khalid, match to F, going online. Um, Aisha, match to G, which is watching video clips, which is here. Um, ben, match to C, télécharger de la musique. 4, j'aime envoyer des emails, veut dire en anglais, I like sending emails. Sophie, match to D. Um, Franck, j'aime jouer à des jeux, match to A. Look how old that is. That's a PlayStation 1. Those of you who know, like your consoles. I had one of these. I got one when I was in year six. So that was like year five. Like the year 2000, I think I got one of these. Crazy. And then finally, uh, j'aime parler avec mes amis. Anna, that's H. Voilà, there she is talking on her phone. Voilà. All right, guys. So all the answers are up, but I'll go through each one to help you out. So... Uh, he was an example, but I've added it here because I thought it was a bit confusing to give yourself the mark. So number one, um, it's raining. So quand il pleut, j'aime regarder la télé. When it's raining, I like watching TV. So it matches to F. Numéro deux, 
is the sunshine. So I matched it to, I said you could have, um, yeah, sunshine. I've gone for either cycling or swimming because it says here, quand il fait beau, j'aime faire du vélo. When it's nice weather, I like doing cycling. But I know it's the example, but it's easy to miss that tiny example. So I've given you ears on if you've gone for it. Then the third one is hot, which is il fait chaud, which is here. Quand il fait chaud, j'aime faire des promenades. Promenade matches to going for walks. G. So like Brighton promenade is another way of saying Brighton Pier and you walk down it. Alors, numéro 4, December, January, February are our winter months. So we look for in winter, which is en hiver, j'aime traîner avec mes amis, which means hanging out with your friends. Five is getting cold, guys. There's not many left. So quand il fait froid. J'aime faire, c'est ça, quoi là? J'aime faire les magasins, which is going shopping. And then finally, le soir is the evening, which is why we've got our moon. So it's got to be le soir. J'aime jouer à des jeux sur l'ordinateur, which is playing computer games. Guys, give yourself a mark out of six for each of these activities. Give yourself a mark out of six and then carry on to the next one. Voilà. Et maintenant, mes petits, this is where the test I thought got really, really challenging. Let's see what we've got. I'm going to talk through and show you where the answers are as well. So first off, who likes downloading music? C'était Benabar. And they say here, j'aime télécharger de la musique. Voilà. Next one. Who likes walking when it's cold? It was, c'était Tariq. Voilà. Il dit ça eu donc. Quand il fait froid, j'aime faire des promenades. Voilà, that word again today, promenade. Who likes horse riding when the weather is nice? C'était Beneba, encore une fois. What do they say? Quand il fait beau, quand il fait beau, je fais de l'équitation. All right, so each person match two. So Beneba is full up. We're just between Léa and Tariq now. So it's got to be one of those when it comes to number four. Alors, who goes ice skating. So we're just looking for these two. C'était Léa. And she says here, je fais aussi du patin à glace. All right, who isn't very sporty. Let's have a look. I'm running out of colours. Let's go for Rouge. Who isn't very sporty. C'est Tariq. Il dit ici, je ne suis pas sportif. And then finally, it's got to be who plays computer games in the evening. It's got to be Léa. And she says, Je joue à des jeux vidéo ici. Right, guys, how many did you get here? Add them up again. Give yourself a mark at six for me, please. Really tough, that one. Add on me for teaser. This one is really hard with our time phrases. Let's blitz the answers. So, she listens to music all the time. She says, Mais ma passion, c'est la musique. J'accute mon iPod tout le temps. Then, she goes shopping une fois par semaine. Je fais les magasins. So, une fois. Is one time par semaine is per week once a week she chats on msn i'm talking about this msn is like before whatsapp so tu les soir je chat sur msn tu les soir is every evening then she meets her friends let's have a little look she meets her friends um je deux fois par semaine Je retrouve mes copines so two times per week then she goes ice skating is what we're looking for. Quelquefois, je fais de patin à glace. So, quelque on its own means some. Fois is a time. So, sometimes she does that. And then finally, this is the trick because she throws in another sport that's not on here. Je joue au volley trois fois par semaine. That's a trap. And then she says, et de temps en temps, je fais de l'équitation. So, she does this de temps en temps, which means from time to time which is our answer. Guys, this one's really tough. Mark out a six for this. Hello, mes petits. The last one was so tough. Let me put the answers up and I'll pick a few out. So these are your six under toi, quatre, cinq, six. Have a little compare and see if you can match them up. So let's go through some of them to make sure we're really clear. So A was his national champion, but it says here, il est champion Regional, which means regional, so it's not A. A is a trick. B was right. He cycles five hours every day 
all the way around. It says here, ils sont 35 heures par jour en été et en hiver. Imagine that. I think that's how your legs would be. So, this one is correct. Then, he also goes jogging. Where does it talk about jogging in here? Here we go. Il déteste le jogging parce que c'est ennuyeux. So, that's why it's not that one. He likes to listen to music. So, where can we find that word music? See you. Can't find it anywhere. There we go. Il aime écouter de la musique sur son iPad, which is why it's this one. A G, he keeps in touch with his fans. Let's change our color. G, he keeps in touch with his fans. He says it here. Il a un blog. Il aime répondre aux questions de ses fans. See, now this is French I haven't taught you. But if you use our key skills and if you just use the skills that you've got, you'll be able to work that out. All right, H. He does weight training twice a week, so we're looking for musculation deux fois par semaine. I, he likes playing snooker in the evening, so they do call it le snooker, but it's more likely to call it billard. Voilà, le soir, il aime jouer au billard, like billiard, which is a different different type of games. You've got like snooker, pool, uh, billiards, there's loads of different games on the table like that. And then, um, K. Okay. In the summer, he likes walking. So again, we're looking for faire les promenades. Where is it? There we go. Il aime faire des promenades avec sa copine Sandrine en été. And there we go. Right, guys. So add up your marks. Give yourself a grand total. And then you can, if you want, give yourself a level, but you don't need to. This has been a little test for you today to see what you can do and to see whereabouts you are. And I think you've worked really hard, guys. Bon effort, me pretty. I know it's so tough to do this, particularly at home, about me like helping you and telling you about the assessments properly. I hope this video has been clear enough and that you've you've not had a good time, but I hope you've worked hard and you've learned a lot. And now. You feel a lot comfortable about what you can do and also i hope you're happy with yourself no matter what grade you've got because at the very start of the year our first lesson was bonjour salut cuckoo and now you have read in a text like the one we've just done about a cycling champion who's been on the tour de france it's an amazing effort in one year think how much french you know times that by five and that's how good you'll be when you get to GCSE so a really good effort here guys well done one thing we're going to just set homework today so this is your homework none of this will be marked but for your writing you can email your writing to me and I can mark it and send it back to you and give you some feedback so to help you for that I've attached this to frog today I've got nine questions here. Now, on your writing assessment, I won't be setting all nine. I'll be setting four of them, but I'm not going to tell you which four, so you don't know. So what I want you to do is answer these nine questions as best you can. So for each question, I want three to four lines. That would be the perfect answer. So what do you do on your mobile phone? Tell me like three to four lines so you can give me an opinion. On my phone, I look at pictures. I like doing that because it's fun. I send texts to my friends, etc. You need three to four lines for each one, ideally, guys. That will be your revision homework for not next lesson, but the lesson after we'll have a look at writing. Guys, you know all these. You practice these. Make sure you practice them at home to make sure they are perfect, me pretty. Right, guys, all that's for next time. Bonne fois aujourd'hui. I'm looking forward to the next lesson already. A plus. Au revoir.